Coach, we've been together after you've lost in the national championship game, after you've won a national championship, is you've won another one. You tell me that you guys like to attack the national championship. How have you guys done that? We study from the year before uh, to learn and to grow, but, but you might have done something really, really well, but those guys aren't here anymore. Uh, so you just, it's just, you can't carry it over. You truly have to buy into starting over. Uh, greatness never goes on sale. You know, there's no bargain prices uh, for a championship. Just trying to get the right mindset into this season and um, going from there has really been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed it and uh, we're going to have a good season, I hope. We just grinding. There's a lot of guys grinding like we, like we didn't win anything last year. So um, seeing that is just, it's, it's, it's good. Trevor Lawrence, your quarterback, had a dynamic freshman season. What have you seen from him? What is his trajectory going forward? It'd be great to see him never lose a game in college. That would be awesome. Uh, I don't, you know, I mean, that, that would be a beautiful thing. I mean, he's obviously coming off an incredible year, and, and he got better as the year went. You know, he's not been a guy that's been riding around with sunglasses on going, hey, man, look at me, we won 15 games. One that. that ain't true. Trevor's been back to work. Now he's got a year of experience, so applying that knowledge, um, those are things that, that I want to see and that I have seen here. Travis Etienne, what can we expect from him? How much better can he be? He loves the game uh, and his growth from when he got here to where he is now, mentally, physically, mindset, most everything. And he's just knowledgeable and he's more confident than he's ever been. And I think uh, uh, is ready to lead the way. T. Higgins and Justin Ross. Is there a better duo in the country than those two? I wouldn't trade them uh, for anybody, that's for sure, but, but uh, we've got a good group, uh, no doubt about it, and those two certainly uh, you know, lead the way. Being an offensive lineman in this kind of offense and having guys like Justin Ross, T. Higgins, like Amari, Trevor, all those guys, it's just, it's, a, it's an amazing feeling because you know like if I do my job, they're gonna do their job and I, you don't have to worry about nobody making a mistake. Replacing some all-time great defensive linemen over there. What have you seen from the defensive line? The reason we were good is because those guys were so self-driven to be great. Um, but this is a different deal. We're talented and there's just a ton of competition because guys want to play, they want to get on the field, they're eager to go prove that, hey, okay, I mean, they're glad those guys are gone. Uh, so there might be a lot of people sad, but, but those young guys, they're eager for their chance. A lot of people are going to sleep on our D-line, but I'm telling you, like, you got, I got some, some dudes. I'm really excited about this season. We got a bunch of guys that I've been around for a long time, and um, they've molded me. I've hopefully helped mold them, and um, we're really going to take this season and uh, just go with it and just do the best that we can and hopefully leave from the back to just be that be that something that they can look at, our whole defense can look at it and just kind of like be an idol to go towards. Not going to win a national championship every year. And to be quite honest with you, that's not our goal. Our goal is to just be the best we can be year in and year out and to be a team that has a shot. And, um, and, and it starts with paying the price and, and enjoying the journey um, and understanding that you don't get to start on second base. You know, everybody starts at the bottom.